Hello, I'm Suresh Menon and welcome to this episode where I'd like to talk about how facts victimize us and how we can avoid facts to manifest everything that we want. We are victimized by facts in our modern day. Everything is science or logic or statistics. The problem is that when we involve into that fully, we also buy the limitations that come packaged with it. We may have all experienced tiny incidents in our lives. If you assume the result is going to be in a particular way, you will be pleasantly surprised that the outcome actually turns out to be so. Could be even as simple as the possibility of missing the bus in the morning to work or uh, the possibility of getting drenched in the rain in the evening. Actually, this is a very interesting part of quantum physics, where, which I have done another video on. Uh, you may want to check. Uh, whenever we assume an outcome in an experiment, then that will be the outcome. I am a science exponent myself, but trust me, I have now been able to draw a distinction between uh, logic and the ways of nature. Science, mathematics, statistics, probability and logic are used to measure and predict patterns. They don't hold the laws of nature in place. They are only meant to predict it. There is a fine difference between the two. Scientists will erupt in, in an argument sometimes, but I do not have any argument against them either. Simply because what I have experienced several times earlier in my life defeats logic and science on all fronts. Right from our childhood, we have been taught that this is how something works and there is no other way for it to work. So we try to attribute everything to the written law, to the thing that holds the actual laws of nature in place. But that's the issue. I have also been a confused man several times in my life, no doubt about it. After successful manifestations, there is no way it could happen, but it happened. Statistics and probability are only used to measure things generally and to measure patterns. So when we exert our imagination on behalf of a thing, or in other words, when we try to manifest something, or when we do manifest something, we are basically superseding the law of probability, logic, statistics, physics, and whatnot. And we are receiving the things that we want. Are you getting more interested in this now? I'm sure you are. We have all trusted scientists, doctors, lawyers, policemen, officials, people in all these intellectual courts, you know, uh, professionals, just because they have that title. Uh, there's no denying that there's a lot of amazing things that are done with science. I myself am a fan of all these scientific investments, uh, scientific inventions, discoveries and developments that enable us to enjoy our lives today. So, if someone comes and tells us that cancer cannot be cured simply because someone in a white coat said so, we spend the rest of our lives believing that. Why? Because that's what we were told, cancer cannot be cured. But we never get into the stuff and test things for ourselves. But today, I have developed enough courage to ask myself, why should I believe this thing is true? Why should I believe that there is a limit? Why do I believe these statistics are governing me? They don't. I've proven this several times for myself. Today, with my experience, I will boldly say that these theories, though extremely respectable, do not govern what I am capable of doing. On the other hand, they are disturbing. I was able to understand that I have complete control and total power over this world. Now, if I have complete and total power over this world, my experience through the act of manifesting, then I can do whatever I want, right? And if I can do whatever I want, then the laws of statistics and logic and all this stuff do not apply to me. I use my imagination. If I stop using my imagination, if I begin to just live my life regularly as I did say 10 years ago, then I could probably fall back asleep and retrain my ego to only pay attention to logic, statistics, physics and whatever have you. 
So that is a subtle difference. The energy of imagination and its ability to bring to reality what you seek. It is important to remember that the laws of nature are not meant to prevent us. They are meant to facilitate us with our manifestations. So everything, including nature, will be used to give us the thing that we desire, the thing that we have imagined. So instead of now thinking back on all of your limitations, all the logic, all the statistics, gently push them aside for a little while. While you test these theories out that your imagination is the creator of your reality. Another interesting thing is that people tend to start applying laws of physics and nature to manifesting. But manifesting is on the spiritual realm. It has nothing to do with this physical world. So people tend to add limitations when they personify manifestations. Like, you can only do this amount of manifestations per day. Who said so? None of that's true. There is no limit to manifestations that you can encounter on a daily basis. In fact, every moment is a manifestation of something that you have imagined some time ago in your life. You are free to manifest 10, 20 or 30 manifestations every day, provided you master it to that extent. You need to try to separate human logic. Try not to add a story to your manifestations or how you manifest or what the limitations of manifestations are. We are always victimized by facts, the facts of statistics, probability, logic. When any of these are added into the story, they actually make it a failure. The truth is that if you want something, disregard the story completely. All the story is telling you is that you have limitations. That there are limitations and doubts and anything that will prevent you from manifesting. Believe that there are no limitations at all. Absolutely. The supreme power is far, 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 far powerful than you can even imagine. So, when you want something, simply think of what is it that you want. Don't think about what happened in between or can happen in between. That is, don't think about what happened in the past. Because none of that matters to the universe. The only thing that is required for you to get what you want is to know the end result. That is all you need to think about. If you could snap your fingers and be the person who you want to be right now, what would you look like? Where would you be? What would you have? How would you feel emotionally? How would you look? This is where you start from, the end. There is another earlier video I have done on this subject alone. Maybe you should watch that too. It's called Imagine from the End or something like that. Never pay attention to the facts, limitations, logic, anything like that because all they will do is create more limitations and prevent your manifestations from actually manifesting. Prevent your imagination from manifesting. Once you have outlined what it is that you want, construct a scene that would imply that you are now that person, that you are already that person. There is no work to be done in the middle. You are now that person that you want to be. Once you construct that scene, bring it into your imagination and think from it as if you are in it now. What do I look like? What am I saying? What do I hear? Who am I with? What am I thinking at the moment? How does it smell? What do I feel? Now, just a clarification. When I am in this scene myself, I am not thinking to myself, I believe this is going to happen. No. Why would I be saying I believe this is going to happen if I am already there? I hope you will understand the confusion the thought will create. So we are just copying what it would be like if we are, were there now. We are bringing it into our imagination in the first person point of view always. 
and we are going to add all the vividness of sensory reality as if we were there now. That is all we have to do. Forget the logic, forget the facts, forget history. Don't think about your story at all. Simply construct that scene, imagine it and then drop it. Carry on with your daily routines. By drop it, I mean drop it. Just forget about it. There is a story of a young girl from a very poor family, I know, who just managed a seat in a reputed college for her undergraduate degree. After much persuasion, the owner of the house where her mom works as a domestic help gave her approximately rupees 3 lakhs to fund her education. The girl was supposed to pay her fees in less than a week's time. That evening, her father fell down onto the floor, catching his chest. The hospital revealed that it was a heart attack and angioplasty has to be done if he was to survive. Now comes the puzzle. The money is available with them. Good. Should it go for her dad's treatment or should it go for her college fee? She met one of her earlier teachers in school who put her through a meditation session. He fed her with thoughts in her mind and forced her to imagine and believe in an outcome. Guess what? The next day the chief doctor examines her dad and tells them that he appears to be totally out of danger and he couldn't believe it himself. What could have happened? Defies logic, defies science. It was nothing short of a miracle. As the chief doctor himself mentioned, he was lost for an explanation. Multiple scans revealed her dad was in perfect health. Absolutely no problem. What transpired in the intervening night, no one will ever discover. Only the universe knows what happened. The girl later says that her teacher forced her to imagine and believe that she is going to the college to pay fees accompanied by her dad. Simple, isn't it? Remember, she was not asked to imagine that her father was well. She was asked to imagine or to believe that she is going to college to pay her fees accompanied by her dad. The teacher drilled into her and the girl made sure to believe in that scene. And you can guess what would have happened. The exact scene unfolds before her eyes where she was a participant too. Your subconscious mind, the universe, the God, if you choose to name it that way, has ways and means beyond your imagination to make things happen. All that you need to do is follow certain methods and procedures. Anything can be manifested. There was no logic in her thoughts. There was no science in her thoughts. It was mere imagination, devoid of any facts. And it manifested in less than 24 hours to everyone's happiness and satisfaction. All logic and senses and probability and uh, theory and reasoning would suggest that she was finished. She is not going to college, join college anymore. But by utilizing this law of our imagination, our subconscious and disregarding all laws and statistics and probability of science and facts, she manifested what she wanted. I hope this was helpful. It motivates you immensely. If you like this, please scroll down, subscribe, hit the bell icon, like the video, share the video with your circles and last but not the least, please type in your comments here, initiate a discussion which would motivate me to do more videos. Thank you.